and Lolo did it. We are a small business hand dyeing yarn for you guys every day. Um, you can find me at at underscore Lolo did it on Instagram and Lolo did it on Ravelry and www.lolodidit.com, which is our store. So welcome everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. I have so much to talk about. Every time I'm like getting ready for this this podcast, I'm like, I'm like, oh, this will be a, a short one, no big deal. And then I look around and I'm like, I've got so much stuff going on. Um, we've really been focusing since moving to the warehouse, we've really, really been focusing on trying to get a lot of our colorways on stock, um, keeping them in stock, and then as well as tonal colors expanding what's ready to ship versus die to order so i think that you guys have been noticing that we have a lot of stuff available all the time and i'm constantly restocking um even if something's not sold out all the way uh, which is what i used to do if it's sold out all the way then that's the next on my list to die um, but now i've kind of been restocking um, specific bases um, especially if i get uh, enough people asking for a colorway on a specific base then I'll try to make sure I dye that um, within the next couple weeks so we've been we've been really focusing on that so I have a lot of stuff that went on the shop this week um, so I'll go through um, some of our restocks and things that I've been putting on the shop and then I have some fun things that I've been doing that maybe you want to hear me chit chat for a minute <laughs> Um, so first I'll go through everything that's been restocked here. Um, so I have a colorway. Oh gosh, my camera's on the opposite side. I don't know what I did. Um, this is Save Fantasia. This is one of my kettle dyed colors. And for kettle dyed, um, it's just a different way of dyeing um, that, that I do here once in a while. I don't do it very often. I don't have a ton of colorways. Um, but these colorways don't get restocked as often as all of my speckly stuff. So this is one of those. This is Save Fantasia. And this is um, inspired by the movie um, Never Ending Story from the 80s. If you haven't seen it, you should go see it. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, I'm sure it's like free on Netflix or something. This is a newer colorway. This is Starburst. I think this has only been out two or three weeks, and um, it keeps on selling out on different bases, so I did restock this on the bases that were sold out. So, Starburst. The Quibbler. This is a Harry Potter colorway that we have available. Cubbies! Cubbies! We are getting ready for summer sports. So, Cubbies got restocked, and... Um, for those of you who have been following that I do a lot of sports teams because <laughs> I love watching sports. I, we try to go to as many live games as possible, um, but we definitely keep up with the teams and, and see what they're doing. I'm originally from the Chicagoland area, so I've got Cubbies, De Bears, you know. So we're, we will be restocking and making new and more sport colorways throughout the summer. And I used to have sport colorways only available on Everyday Sock, Plush Sock, Worsted, and Low Biggity. And now I've been stocking them up on my other bases. So this one, for example, is on Solo, but you can even get it on Sparkle, our new yarn base, Low Original, um, DK, which is one that I wasn't really dyeing all that much. So um, check it out. And even if you aren't into the teams, a lot of the team colors are really, really pretty. So even if you aren't into that particular te team, check out the colors because they're they're really awesome. They, you know, teams pick picks these colors to go together because they look good together. So they are all fun. And all of the team colorways, um, all of the ones that I... If you click on my uh, shop by category, if you go shop yarn and then go all the way to the bottom, it says shop by yarn base or category. Um, all of the sport colorways, if you're knitting socks, it will look like a micro stripe. Um, and that is with uh, a similar gauge to what I do, which is 12 stitches. I'll, you know, I'll just put it here at the bottom. I don't, I'm not going to quote myself because then I'm going to go, oh shoot, that's not actually the gauge. But um, they, they would micro stripe, which is really cool. This is You Look Beautiful Baby, and I restock this on Solo and a couple of other bases that people were asking for. That one's a newer colorway, too. 
This one came out last summer. This is called Jack and Diane. Little ditty about Jack and Diane. And this is a really, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's a very pale pink base and blue base. Very, very, very pale. And then some really pretty speckling with greens and pinks and maroons and navies and really, really, really pretty. Um, this is an excellent starting point for any fades. So if you're looking for, I want to do all speckles, this is a really great option for you to start with. So I highly suggest this one as a great neutral, but it does have speckles. Really pretty. I Heart Michonne, I restocked on a few bases. This is a really big favorite for the Walking Dead fans. Um, Purple Rain. Droids. I haven't restocked this in quite some time, but Droids is available. Um, and this is a Star Wars reference. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Um, and I came out with this and Kiss a Wookiee, which are both Star Wars. They're, they were released in the same month, so... They're really fun. We should do more Star, Star Wars stuff because it's a great series. And Mustard's Last Stand. This is named after one of Mr. Lolo's favorite hot dog stands that he went to as a kid. And he, as soon as we dyed this, he's like, I know what the name has to be, Mustard's Last Stand. So that's what this is. And this is also a kettle dyed colorway. We don't dye um kettle dyed colors very often um, so when we do definitely snatch them up I've probably of of all of my colorways I've probably knit mustard's last stand in more items um, I've knit a couple of pairs of socks a voodoo you love me doll by Susan Claudino a shawl by cabin four I mean I I'm probably missing something I love this colorway and it's up really pretty it's variegated um, so hope you guys like it too all right so that's all the restocks let me put these away and now it gets to the fun stuff of all the new things that are going on um so last when did the pattern come out probably december i think i remember it was really crazy season so it was probably like right around thanksgiving or christmas i can't remember exactly but uh, Jen Peck of Webster Street Knittery said, Hey, Lauren, I want to do uh, a design with you, and I'd like a custom colorway. And so the colorway that we came out with was Freaking Weekend, which was inspired by the song Remix to Ignition by R. Kelly. I mean, if you are like me, went to high school, you know, middle school, high school in the 90s, 2000s, you know the song. I mean, it was played everywhere. Um, so... When I was, I don't remember what I was doing, but I was listening to the song again, and I was like, you know, it needs a complementary speckled color to go with this color. I have to do it. And so I kind of was messing around with colors, and I decided that it needed to be navy blue because this has blue in it. And I came out with this one, which is basically the sister colorway. It's just the dark version of this so really 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 pretty I really love it this is called remix to ignition it's brand new colorway so you've got remix to ignition and freaking weekend and they definitely go together so um, I was really excited to do this um, I just love it I don't do a lot of I do a lot of blues but I didn't I don't really do a lot of darks with the brights and stuff so I just think this is really fun and this is on my sparkle base. You can see how sparkly it is. And then Freaking Weekend 2. So they go together. And um, I think that's for the new colors. Oh, I did include this in a fade kit. So let me show you the fade kits um, so you can kind of see them. This one has Remix to Ignition in it. So I'm going to move the microphone a little bit closer to me, but I'm going to try to not crinkle into the microphone but past it. So this is, um, for those of you who didn't watch the last episode or maybe you're just joining us, uh, I have never done 
really a lot of kits for patterns unless they were for a collaboration with a designer I was working for. So I don't usually do all of that. Um, but I get people almost every day emailing me asking me for color advice or can you take a picture with all of these colors together and can you put together this fade kit for this particular pattern pattern because there's so many uh there's like fade has become a, a trend I guess everybody's doing it so because I get so many emails I thought I'd put together kits for you guys so that you can choose a fade that maybe is already put together for you that's a little bit easier and then when I put when I put stuff together, I generally uh, – it, it saves you a couple bucks because I'm putting everything together for you. Um, so that's really nice. So we've been doing this for now two weeks now, and it seems like you guys are really liking it. I'm getting a lot of ideas from you. You guys are emailing me saying, hey, I want a fade that go looks kind of like this, or it includes blues, or this week I had – I want denims and neutrals. And so I had a lot of people asking me that, that question. One person asked for about TARDIS, so I put together another, like, more true blue color. So that's where these these ideas are coming from. I'm just putting together um, some stuff. So um, I wanted to show you. This is the one that includes Remix to Ignition. So you've got Lagoon Festivus, which is actually a retired colorway. This was one of my holiday colorways. Um, this one here. This is Bobatons. This is Remix to Ignition and then Blue Suede Shoes. So that's one of them. I really like that one. This is one of the neutrals that we came up with. This is Pure uh, Cheers, Wild Horses, Doth Rocky, and Tin Roof Rusted. This is this one I just really love. I had to create something with Make It Rain and Steel Magnolias because I think they play really well together because they're both blues and they both have purples in them um, but they're not they're not the same so I thought that they would look really cool together in a fade and can you see that oh no wrong side this is um, Folsom Make It Rain Angry Rhino Steel Magnolias and Ash and these are really, really pretty together. And this isn't really the traditional fade. I think that they just play really nicely together. So I thought you guys would like one of those. And all of these have more than one. Um, I put together several kits of each of these colorways. So they're, they're, they didn't sell out in two seconds. There's, there's plenty available if you want them. But once they do sell out... Um, it would take a while to get them back in of those particular colors because I have to dye five colorways to make it happen. So um, just to keep that in mind, if it's something that you want, snatch it. There are plenty. There won't be a frenzy. But once it does run out, it would take me a, a minute to make something that is the same or similar. So um, this one is Zombies, Pretty Little Zombies, Look at the Flowers, Lizzie, Faithfully, and Blue Suede Shoes. Which I played on like the peaches and pinks in here. And are you guys seeing these? I'm not sure if I'm getting my cameras on the wrong side this time. I don't know what I was thinking. This one is Summer Nights, the Carlton, uh, I Heart Carol, Dirty Dancing, and Cheeky. And then this one is the one that I thought maybe would go with a TARDIS. I don't watch Doctor Who, but I did look up a lot of photos. <laughs> so I hope I got it right um, for the person who's asking for this. So this is Something Blue, I Heart Carl, America's Team, Heisenberg, and Blue Suede Juice. So you see you've got a lot of denims um, that I did, a lot of blues because people were asking for them, and then neutrals. So I hope you guys like these ones. I really like, I like putting them together. I have a blast um, picking out colors and, and doing all that. Um, so speaking of fades, in the same section, if you go to shop, kits, and sets, you'll see a section that says fades and gradients, and that's where you'll, where you'll see those. Um, with the fades, I also have gradients. Um, we do a gray gradient, teal, blue, purple. It, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So this one is the brown gradient. And I put up 
There are four skeins in this gradient, and I put up three packs that are ready to ship on worsted. So if you guys were looking for, um, a lot of people are doing the Comfort Fade Cardi, and so two of these these packs would be great. Um, I know that's in DK, but if you have worsted at home on my base, I've been having a lot of people message me and ask me about gauge. This is a true worsted, um, but if you change your needle size, you may be able to get gauge on worsted. So if you have a skein at home or have some scraps at home, try to get gauge on that. This would be a really great option. But then there's so many other, there's so many patterns that, that call for fades and gradients. So this might be a really fun one for you guys. Um, and then a nice neutral. So that's the fades and gradients. I did also, for kits and sets, I put up probably 20 more sock sets with different color combos. There, there are ones that I've had before, and then there are some brand new sets that I've put in there with different tonal colors and things like that. So I did put those in the shop um, yesterday and the day before. So you'll see those at um, under shop kits and sets and then click on sock sets. So you'll see all of those. Um, we also have a listing in there that says mystery sock set. And that one is all of my one of a kind, non-repeatable. I shouldn't say one of a kind because sometimes there's two or three that I've dyed that are look, look similar, but they're all not repeatable. I don't have a recipe for them. And I put those available on Everyday Sog, Plush Sog, and Low Original. So you have a lot, a, a really fun opportunity to get some one-of-a-kind colorways in those. Um, and we didn't just stick... We, some of them have tonal colors for the heels and toes. Some of them have signature colorways. Some of them have barely their collection. Um, so it's a really fun way to kind of try some new stuff. So I hope you guys like that as well. It's been really fun putting together stuff for you guys. Um, I have the hippos that are getting ready to retire are hippo for mom and hippo for Cinco. So I don't have very many left on the shop, but I wanted to mention it. And then I also have the project bags that are matching. I have little low, low kits that match. This one is the hippo for Cinco. And then this one is hippo for mom. And something to know about my project bags. Actually, let me just open this. So these are actually made out of a um, twill fabric. I get these printed myself. Um, I take photos of the colorways, um, get the fabric printed, and then my sister's actually the one who sews the bags, which is really nice. Um, she's getting ready to have her first baby, so she's been cranking out a lot of bags to save up and all that stuff, so it's been really, really fun. Um, so these are made out of twill, which is really sturdy. Think of like your favorite soft jeans. That's what this feels like. And it's really sturdy, really nice. I, I carry my stuff around in these bags all the time. Um, they're a medium size. They fit two to three skeins of yarn. We always have a coordinating zipper with a really nice long handle pull. So they're really, really nice zippers. And then um, the inside is usually dots, chevron, stripes, something, but they match. And I love that um, my sister picks out the, the color for the zippers and the insides. So every time I get them, I'm like, oh my gosh, what'd she pick? I love this one. This is like, it's red on the inside. It's so cool. I think it's perfect for a hippo for Cinco. So... Um, but these are the project bags, and so they're really nice to carry around. Um, I throw these just in my bag all the time. And also they, for me anyways, my, my dog, for some reason, she loves hanging out with me when I'm knitting. And so sometimes when I'm switching projects, I'll have my bag on the other side of the room, and all I have to do is say, Josie, go get mommy's knitting, and she'll literally bring it. So they're like dog rule proof too. I love them. So um, I hope you guys like them as well. But we do do matching project bags for every hippo that comes out, every hippo colorway, and um, all the Yetis too. 
So we do all of those. And then I've been doing kits for different, um, different occasions. Like I did a purple kit. There's a new one coming out. I will tell you about soon. We, we did, uh, the Barely There collection. We did the Walking Dead. So we, we're constantly coming out with new kits. They're really, really fun. And then you've got a matching project bag to go with. Not all of them are the swirly yarn. Some of them are the skeins, which is pretty cool. So that's what you're getting when you get those. And I usually include a tape measure in them. I don't know if you saw that in the package, but got little hippo tape measures in there for you. So pretty cute. So what I did with the Yetis, I'll probably do with these with the hippos too because it just makes sense. Why not just put it all together if you're going to be buying all all three, the, the skein, the little Lolo packs, and the project bag? You might as well buy them all together and just click on it once. Um, so I started with the Yetis putting them all together in one kit. So you get the project bag that matches with the little Lolo pack with the skein. And so that, again, if you put it, if I put it together, I can save a couple, I can have you guys save a couple bucks. So I'll just put them all together for you. And that's kind of a nice way to, to save some cash. Cause I know this is, um, it's a treat. And so sometimes it's nice to save a couple bucks. So I put these together. This is Yeti goes to Hogwarts. I have these, there's not very many left on the shop. I retired this last week. I'm not dying any more of it. I have no idea if I will dye the Yetis again. For the hippos, every time the holiday comes around, I dye them again. Sometimes the holiday is different. Um, like with Hippo for Zingo is exactly the same because I just, it's one of my favorites. It's one of my most worn pairs of socks is Hippo for Zingo. Um, but for like Hippo for Mom... I changed it. I changed the recipe. It looks a little different. Um, so for the Yetis, I'm not sure yet if I'm even going to bring them back. So once they're gone, they're gone. I don't know what I will do. I don't know if I bring them back when I would bring them back. Um, because I have so many of the series Yeti goes to that I don't know what I'll... Um, I don't know when I get around to the next time to diet. So... Uh, so just for reference right now, as of right now, I'm not planning on dyeing them again. So um, you've got the project bag, little Lolo pack, and the, the um, skein. This is under, if you look under kits and sets, and then limited time, you'll see these limited um, sets. So, whew, enough of that. So, um... For those of you who haven't heard yet, we started a new series, and that's what I was talking about, the Yetis. We started a new series called Yeti Goes To, and Yeti is, um, one of our bases is a light, 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 light brown, and that we called Yeti. So now Yeti, we had a joke in, at work that Yeti is getting jealous of Hippo, and so we decided to make a new series, um, that is Yeti goes to, kind of like, I guess, like Curious George goes to the zoo or something like that. But Yeti gets to go to all of these different places in our movies and books and TV shows, all of these places that, you know, you travel to when you're reading a book or you're in a TV show. These are places that you go to with all of your favorite characters. So we made Yeti go to Hogwarts, which is one of my favorite series um, of books, so for Harry Potter, so that was the first one, and I tried to make sure to have all the, the different house colors in here and all that. But the next one, which I totally nerded out on, I don't know what's wrong with me, is Yeti Goes to the Upside Down. And that's this one. I'm showing you this on Worsted. I That must have been just the skein that I grabbed. Um... But this is so cool. So for those of you guys, I had quite a few people ask me what the Upside Down is. So I guess I'm nerding out all by myself. <laughs> but um, the Upside Down is a reference to a TV show called Stranger Things. It's on Netflix and there are two seasons. You can watch all two seasons, binge watch it. Um, and it's about this group of kids 
that and it takes place in the 80s this group of kids so funny uh they're they're kids like when i was a kid like we were total nerds played dungeons and dragons and all that i loved it um and they have they're basically their adventures at first i i didn't watch the first season when it came out because i thought it was a kid show um but one of my friends told me, oh my gosh, Lauren, you have to see this. It's so funny. It's so cute, but it's really sci-fi. You'll love it because that's what I like. Um, and so I started to watch it. Love it. And it's really, it's just a fun adventure. Um, I don't know if you guys like sci-fi and, you know, mystery kind of tv shows you'll love it and the kids that they pick to play the parts are so cool just cool kids so um anyways this is if you look at the stranger things i think it's the season two poster for it these are all the colors on the poster so it's reds and and oranges and yellows and blues and blacks and it's awesome so, I did the same thing that I did with the Yeti Goes to Hogwarts. I made a kit so you can get the little Lolos, the matching project bag, and the skein. And it saves you a few bucks to do that. Or you can get all these separate, just like all the time. You can always buy stuff separately if you don't, don't want to do that. So, this is on the shop now, brand new. And then, just like Yeti Goes to Hogwarts, it'll probably retire within about a month or so. And then we'll come out with a new one. So that's super fun. And oh my gosh, so I'm dying it up. This is before we released it or anything. I'm dying it up. And literally, I took a skein wet home because I was like, I cannot wait. I have to have this. This is in my stash. I'm never giving this up. <laughs> so it's really fun. So I hope you guys like it too. And if you haven't watched the show, this is a really cool colorway all on its own. And maybe you should check it out. It's fun. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Thank you for listening to me nerd out on that. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about some stuff I've been doing personally. I I haven't done a lot of crafting. I have been so busy the past few weeks. I don't think I've knit a stitch other than um, I did I did a crank out on my circular sock machine a pair of socks. Um, I don't even have them because I already gifted them and gave them away, but I will put a picture here so you can see them. I knit them on Gumball Head, which is the main colorway. It's a new colorway, and it's um, Three Floyds Inspired, which is a microbrewery in um, Indiana. And I knit the, the toes and heels with Folsom, and it's so cool. I love the way they knit up. I was, I'm completely obsessed with them. I can't believe I gave them away. I need to get another skein for myself. But that was really, really fun to do. And, of course, once I crank it out, I still have to, you know, kitchener the toe and then weave in ends and things like that. But that was really, really fun. And I did that. And then um, other than that, I haven't knit a stitch. I don't know what. I just I've been busy. I don't know. And I'm tired. Um, but hopefully it'll <laughs> it'll get to the point where I'm like, OK, I'm caught up again and now I can knit. So it'll be fun. Um, but I also wanted to show you, my friends sent me some stuff that I just freaked out over. And so I thought I would share it with you because I thought they were really, really fun. Um, some things I don't, I don't know where they got them from, but I, I'm sure that with a quick Google search, you can guys find them. So this one's from my sister. Um, she sent me some project bags and she put this in there and she goes oh I thought you'd like this as as crafting as my cardio which of course I do I love it um I don't know where she got it from I really should ask like when people send me cool stuff I should be like where'd you get that um but that was really cute and then one of my friends sent me one of these pins and it says literally dying I love it I have to put this on one of my bags. And I'm not even a, I'm, I'm not necessarily a non-enamel pin collector. I just don't have very many. The few that I have, I love. I have like a, a Hungry Hippos one. And then this one, I have a, like a sweater being knitted from one of my friends. So anyways, I just like freaked out over this. I have no idea where she got this from, but it's cute. And it's totally me. 
And then um, one of my other sweet friends, I have been telling her for like six months that I'm going to do a corner to corner crocheted blanket. I still haven't gotten it. And three times I've asked her what hook size she uses for hers because I like the way it looks and all that. Um, and every time she tells me that I never buy a crochet hook because I don't have no idea. And I have, I have a set of crochet hooks, but they're not like the ergonomic. They're just like the straight metal. Cause I, I did crochet for a long time. That's actually all I did from age like five or six. My great grandmother taught me up until for like age 24, I think I, that all I did was crochet. I love crocheting, but I only have the metal Susan Bates hooks. That's all I got. So my friend asked me if I have any um, clay hooks, and I said no, and I, she sent me the link, and I was like, okay, and I should get those, and I never did. Um, and then she, out of the blue, totally out of the blue, I can't even believe she did this. She sent me one. She's just so nice. And I'm going to show you the card. So this is um, the hook that she sent me. She's like, I thought you needed pink, Lauren. I'm like, I did. I did need pink. <laughs> It's like one of my favorite colors. And this is from um, Happy Polymer Crochet Hooks or Happy Polymer Creations. Both of these cards were in the thing with them, but it's Happy Polymer Crochet Hooks or Happy Polymer Creations. I'm not sure which one it is. She might have just changed her name, which is fine. This is one of the cards. And then this is the other card. But I just, I think this is so cute and it's nice and ergonomic. It like feels good in your hand and it's a matte finish. So it's not slippery or anything. Really nice. So this means that I need to start my corner to corner crochet blanket. And I have no, I can't decide if I just want to do it completely scrappy or if I want to like do a theme, like do all blues or all pinks or all hippos or all yet, you know, like I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to go through my scraps. I put this on Instagram a couple months ago, I put a, my big basket. I have all of these extra scraps. So I'm going to have to go through them and see if I can come up with a theme. Because if not, it's going to be totally scrappy. So, But for all the colorways that I have here, I really should be doing that. Like, what's wrong with me? Same thing with the sock machine. I don't know why I don't knit more socks. I don't know. I just, I go home and I fall asleep. What's wrong with me? I'm not that old. <laughs> I should be awake all night knitting. <laughs> so anyways, I that's that's all I got. I don't think I've got anything else going on. Um, but I hope you guys are having an awesome week. I hope you love all the stuff that we're coming out with. And um, yeah, I've got there's exciting things happening all the time. I spent almost this entire week was um, dying like experimenting and coming up with new colorways um for the summertime so you guys will see those come up soon and of course the new yetis and new hippos i've got some exciting new hippos that you guys haven't seen yet come up so anyways i hope you guys have an awesome weekend um please comment below and tell me if you guys are looking for anything in the shop or um requests or anything like that I would love to hear from you I love talking to you guys I really try when I'm posting up the new podcast I'm in YouTube and I really try to respond to every single person who writes in the comments below um, while I'm updating the new one so I check it like basically once a week but I do really try I do listen and I, I do see what you're writing to me so thank you all so much have an awesome weekend and I'll talk to you next week bye <laughs>